Researchers working under Dr. Gavin P. Robertson have developed a new drug called Celeplum 777 to fight against melanoma, the most deadly skin cancer. Skin cancer is the most common of all cancers in the United States, and melanoma accounts for about 80% of all skin cancer deaths. Despite the development of targeted pathway inhibitors and immune system modulators in melanoma, recurrent resistant disease development remains a problem. One emerging research area to address this issue has been to screen for pharmacologic agents that synergize with one another to decrease the occurrence of resistant disease. However, this approach is frequently hindered by the individual drugs having unique solubility, bioavailability, toxicity profiles, and limiting drug compatibility. Furthermore, the mechanism of action of the drug combination causing enhanced efficacy has generally been difficult to ascertain. Nanotechnology is one approach being used to resolve these issues, which involves loading the drugs into a single nanoparticle at synergizing drug ratios. The nanoparticle simultaneously delivers the agents to tumor cells, releasing the drugs at the optimized synergizing ratio, and as there are two cooperating drugs, there can be decreased resistance development. A further advantage is that the FDA evaluates nanoparticles containing multiple active ingredients as a single drug product rather than two separate ones, which could significantly reduce costs and potentially move the agent more quickly to the clinic. Thus, the development of a nanoliposomal-based agent containing salicoxib and plumbogen called Celeplum 777. It is stable and releases these drugs at an optimal ratio for maximal synergistic killing efficacy. Celeplum 777 was more effective at killing melanoma than normal cells and inhibited xenograft melanoma tumor growth by up to 72% without apparent toxicity. In this video, we will show you how to make Celeplum 777 nanoliposomes. Nanoliposomes are an extensively studied drug delivery platform that is currently used in clinical practice and it has shown promise for improving the solubility of many amphiphilic drugs. Liposomes of certain sizes, typically less than 100 to 200 nanometers, can rapidly enter tumor sites from the blood due to EPR effect, but are kept in the bloodstream by the endothelial wall in healthy tissue vasculature. For example, liposomal doxorubicin was characterized by a very long circulating half-life, favorable pharmacokinetic behavior and specific accumulation in tumor tissues compared with conventional liposomal doxorubicin or free doxorubicin. These are the two phospholipids we are going to use for the nanoliposome preparation. The two drugs being used will be celecoxib, an anti-inflammatory, and plumbogen, a toxin. First, label the tubes accordingly. Next, add the lipids to each of the tubes. Then add a 20 to 1 ratio of celecoxib and plumbogen, respectively, with appropriate controls. Nitrogen gas will then be used to evaporate the organic solvent. Place the tubes under the nitrogen gas for two and a half hours or longer until the solvent is completely gone. In the meantime, turn on the heating block and the sonic gator bath as soon as the tubes are under the gas. When the lipids are completely dry, add one milliliter of 0.9% saline solution to each of the tubes. Seal the tops of each of the tubes with parafilm and place them in the heating block at 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. Every 10 minutes, vortex the tubes until the solutions look milky. Then, place the tubes in the sonicator bath at 60 degrees Celsius and sonicate the samples until the solutions become clear. To make the liposomes similar in size, you will need to pass the solution through a 100 nanometer polycarbonate membrane using the Avanti Mini Extruder. Pass the solution back and forth 10 to 12 times or until the solution becomes clear and easy to pass from one side to the other. The liposomes are now ready to check for size and charge. To measure the size and the charge of the liposomes, use a Malvern Zetasizer.
Grow and seed 5,000 cells per well in 100 microliters of media into a 96 well plate. Put them into an incubator for 48 hours. After the 48 hours, label the plates and treat them with the liposomes. Incubate them for 72 hours. After the 72 hours, measure the cell viability by MTS region. Add the MTS region for all the wells and incubate them for 1-2 to two hours. Finally, measure the viability through a spectrophotometer using SoftMax Pro software. For more details, visit Molecular Cancer Therapeutics and search for nanoparticle-based celecoxib and plumbogen for the synergistic treatment of melanoma. This work was supported by NIH grants, the Foreman Foundation for Melanoma Research, the Geltrude Foundation for Melanoma Research, and the Penn State Chocolate Tour Cancer Research Fund.